So, I grew up in the Midwest. That's kind of like the middle of nowhere, or the last place on Earth. Either way, I was mighty happy when I left the wide open spaces, and so were they, I'd imagine. I just never fit in on the prairies, folks. As a young girl, I understood that what was considered success for me was an engagement ring in grade 10, a wedding the week after graduation, and a baby the week after that, with another six rugrats to come if I really wanted to be successful. Not up my alley. Neither was the idea that the man of the house was in charge. I got better grades than every idiot hillbilly boy I went to school with. Why the hell should those simpletons be in charge? Because they got a pecker they don't know how to use? And trust me, folks, they don't really know how to use their peckers because they learned all their skills in the barnyard. Ever see a cow, horse, pig, or chicken mate? That's what these Romeos were capable of in the sack, and I could do better for myself on my own. No thanks, hillbilly boy. If you know a guy jerking off to the Sears catalog, screwing pigs, and going to church every Sunday, he's probably from my hometown on the prairies. Please don't tell him you know me, okay? I like libraries, art galleries, and museums. Well, the guys and dolls I grew up with prefer hunting and fishing, tractor pulls, and cow pie tossing for fun. I like to read, and those hillbilly boys and girls want to watch celebrity rehab and dancing with the stars, for Christ's sake. We just don't have much in common. I like to open up my heart and try new things, but that doesn't wash where I grew up. I had a blind boyfriend in school, and everybody called me nuts for going out with a goddamn gimp. I didn't even want to tell you what they called me when I went out and got a black boyfriend, folks. Let's just say a cracker with a nigger boyfriend tattoos and nose ring ain't welcome in some of the saloons or restaurants around where I grew up any more than a nigger is. Don't get me wrong. The prairie landscape is beautiful with its never-ending horizon and big blue skies. But you can watch your old man walking away from you for three days when he leaves you. Not to mention, it gets minus off the friggin' thermometer in the winter, and plus 140 degrees in the noonday sun of summer. But it's home, and I still go back every decade or so, but only in the spring or autumn, when the hillbilly boys are in the fields, planting and harvesting crops. I know those hillbilly boys won't be trying to jump me from behind, in the back alley of one of those saloons I can't get into if they're out screwing around on a tractor, right? <laughs>